My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Okay, this is my water pick. Uh, model number says WP-100 W backslash C. And um, it does not seem to be pumping any water. I mean, it does turn on and make all kinds of rack, racket when you uh, turn it on. Yeah, but it doesn't pump. And the other thing that I noticed about it is um, it kind of sounds like something is loose in there when you shake it. So I'm going to try to take it apart and see if there's anything fixable in there. So after I put the thing all back together again, learned how to take it apart and put it back together again, I figured out that the real problem was that jammed down in the tip of my nozzle there is an obstruction right there uh, in the tip and so if I can get that out of there the thing works fine or you can just replace the nozzle and you can see I have a nice strong stream of water coming out of there On the bottom, I noticed that there's four holes, um, which you can't see down very well. One, two, three, four. And when I stick a screwdriver like this down, a Phillips head, down the hole, feels like it grabs onto something. So I'm going to get a pair of pliers and see if I can get that uh, screw out of there. So that technique seemed to work if I just took my pliers and then press down on the tip of the screwdriver and was able to get get that little screw out of there. After I took those four screws out I had to also take this uh, speed adjustment um, knob off of there. It fits right there. And once I got that off I was able to get the, get the top cover off. While I'm at it, I noticed that this uh, that water outlet on the blue cover had also cracked, and that little piece had separated from it. So I'm going to try to super glue that back in place. And this to get that uh, this little valve out of there, you just push it out through the through the opening. So that way, push it down, and then it'll come out. Just a little piece of rubber is all that is. It's the stopper. So, so the rattling noise is just uh, is just this armature here. Oops. Just has a little motion up and down. That's what the rattling noise was. So there's no problem there. So if I turn this on, paint shaft that goes in and out and the thing that's where the pumping I can go. So my problem may be the seal that uh, drives that pump. So this piece is the switch assembly. And you see the contact up here. Um, and that goes in this hole right here. And when you slide that back and forth, those contacts make this connection back there. And that's what turns the pump on and off. So I just slid that out. And uh, going after this pump assembly here, it looks like there may be a problem in there somewhere. Because it's not letting the water go through properly. Um, so I'm just going to... Take this this piece I just stuck on there. It was actually in the in the blue reservoir, and it just pushes out. You know, it's just a rubber piece that fits in there. So and the water feeds down through this 
hole. So I'm going to take these two screws out and then the other two screws out there. I took the took the hose to the wand off. And it just uh, has a couple pieces like that with an O-ring that attaches to the bottom of the unit. Right there. There's a little screen flap on the bottom of that. Um, well, that didn't seem to be a problem, so Let's see what we find when we take this thing apart. So I also discovered that the bottom piece, this one, just is held on to the this piece here by these little rubber pieces that have slots in them. Here you can see the slots. All you have to do is is bend that uh, rubber up a little bit and it just comes right out of those four slots so don't uh, don't pull too hard otherwise you'll dislodge those rubber things and maybe have a hard time getting them back in so I couldn't get to all the screws on the on the little pump assembly so I took this piece off like that by unscrewing those two screws and then this whole piece just lifts off. So now I can get to the screw there that I couldn't get to before. So that is the plunger on the pump. Um, and this pump assembly just um, goes like that. Like that. And then it just slid off of that plunger and it doesn't seem like there's anything down in there necessarily so I'll try to clean that up and uh, see if there's see if it works any better if I put it back together so next I just decided to take this uh, uh, speed adjustment or volume adjustment off and uh, looks pretty straightforward. There's an O-ring there and a little uh, angled plate there that probably you know, allows more or less fluid to come through. And then there's a little spring-loaded valve here. And there's a little bit of... can't really see that that well. There's a little bit of build-up on the bottom side of that rubber piece. So I'll try to clean that out. So I took that remaining piece apart and it appears to be a little check valve. There's a little bitty white ball that goes in this piece. that and then the spring goes down in there next and then the little white piece goes on top of the spring and finally the yellow piece uh, snaps around the outside. So I also took a q-tip and just ran, ran it down into the holes here and there's a couple of little, little specks of stuff in there. So. I don't know if that might have been impeding the flow, but uh, or impeding impeding the sealing. Anyway, um, I did take this this little guy out of that hole and uh, cleaned it off both sides. I'm gonna stick it back in there. So 